are gonna see deep blue here is gonna be spawning at the six o'clock position of the map as the pink terran and his opponent is gonna be exo and there is gonna be spawning at the nine o'clock position of the map as the red zerg so zvt uh not really a cross position but they are close by air pretty far from land on metalopolis right here four player map but this is the metal the mlg version of the map where you can only spawn uh, far away from your opponent not really close spawn like for example if deep blue is spawning indeed here you can't really spawn right here which is a close spawn in terms of this map locations and stuff like that but anyways yes tvz is gonna be pretty awesome indeed game number two by the way so game number one was taken by deep blue on delta quadrant so i don't know that map is really really awkward <laughs> like for like in yeah. one second the siege tanks were siege up and the natural in the second time then another second like it was on the other side, so yeah, pretty funny. <laughs> now, Deep Blue asking, what map is this? Is this MLG? So, uh, nah, that's, that's just a hunch. Now, anyway, Deep Blue, does he see that Overlord? No, he does not. So he's not going to know that uh, that Ender is going to be closing in on the close air positions. So he is throwing down a Vax first. Well, if he had seen that Overlord, he might have thought about making, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Besting Geyser first for a factory opening since they are pretty much in the close air position going for banshees would be a very good idea here yeah that's very true but then again i'm pretty sure exo ender or ender is going to be uh what do you call that is he going to be expecting that because indeed it is pretty common in this map so he's going to be pretty much well aware of what he needs to do right now maybe he's going to pump out one or two more extra queens right now i'm not sure but we will see that in just one second as right now he's going to go for 15 hatch right here so that's why he's pre he pretty much picked mlg metalopolis because he can just plop down his early hatchery like this right now but again deep blue might go for two racks opening right here we will see that. No, he does have the gas. Oh, my bad. Uh, he does completely have the gas. Yeah. Completely. <laughs> now, uh, this is a very safe build from Ender, going for a 15 hatch against a one barracks, uh, one refinery build by the Terran. So for the meantime, he he doesn't really have to, he has, doesn't really have to worry about anything that the par that the Terran is going to throw at him. So Ender, uh, will we see a very long macro match against these two players? I really think so. Yeah, most likely it's gonna be a macro match but then again the Terran might do another timing push again like we saw a while ago where he just pushed out with Sea Shanks and Marine and that's pretty much GG <laughs> like that's how good Terran is yeah. like like what Chobo Avenger was saying a while ago like just use Terran you can <laughs> yeah. win T Terran Terran's crap. getting told man Terran's <laughs> getting told real bad by a master Canadian player so Terran's no oh, man Yabla Terran Yabla. sorry about that now the Terran player is getting a factory right now and he is pulling more gas so uh, maybe maybe we can actually see some banshees from him hmm. yeah we might see some banshees and yeah factory is almost done right here he's not really making any he's not really making the tech lab right now on that barracks he might be making it on the factory when that finishes up but we will see that we will see two uh, marines are on the way on the other side right now or uh, three marines are on the way actually on the side on the other side gonna try to do a little bit of harassment might take out an overlord or two but we will see that two zerglings are already dead right now as well so hmm, he needs to pump out a couple of zerglings here he doesn't have anything at all to defend against his three marines right now he might lose his overlord that's actually gonna be pretty huge because he's gonna supply block in and yeah he needs to salvage that overlord oh my god he's gonna oh, lose that run now bro run those drones are gonna save the overlord but no it's gonna be too late he might lose a couple of more drones here he has to make uh yeah, zerglings right now god. Road? oh man oh Closing man a lot of units right now Ender, oh man, this is kind of bad right here. He was pretty, really comfortable of opening with MLG Metalopus that they didn't really expect that that was, that was coming right there. No, ex no, nothing really was scouting on this area right here, on on the front of the base of the Terran. So I don't know, like wow, X Ender, come on, man. Yeah. And you know, no, Ender can do this though. Uh, he did go for a very early roach uh, opening, but the roaches are, I don't think they're going to do any damage for the meantime. Now the Terran player is going to be gearing up for a mid-game uh, push with marines and tanks. So it's going to be very hard for Ender to deal with this without siege, uh, without mule lists. Yeah, that's true. That is very true. But then again, roaches are on the way out right now. Hmm. Where? Uh, oh, expansion going down. So two racks are on the way as well. So he's not really going to go for any air attack. As far as I can tell, he does have two gas mining right now. But yeah, we will yeah, see what he's going to plan right now. All those roaches are just uh, roaming around the map. Nothing really doing right now. He does have two queens on the expansion. So maybe he's just feeling something out. Oh, oh he actually attacked one of the roaches with the roach. And the roach, <laughs> the roach is just going to run away. Like, why do you guys attack me? I'm just going to move away here. Hey, man, I, I thought it was part of your pack. <laughs> like, screw you. 
Screw you, I'm gonna be a Marine. <laughs> that Roach is gonna be a very, very sad Roach, knowing that the, he is gonna be going to the Terran base, and he is not gonna be welcome there as well. Marines are gonna shoot at that poor Roach, but at the oh. same time, the Terran player is gonna be gearing up for his expansion right now. Gonna secure it once the uh, the siege tech is done for the siege tanks. Yeah, that's true, and look at that. All those units of Deeplo is moving out right now. Gonna be trying to set up for the expansion as it is gonna be happening right now. A layer tech is on the way up as well for Mr. Exo, and it's gonna be transitioning right now to Mutilus, most likely. And harvester-wise, let's look at it. 35 over 30, not really in the lead right now. I would expect more drones from Mr. Ender, but the Exo Ender, but yeah. He did lose a couple of those drones a while ago, and those three mines really didn't come into his calculations upon with this play right here. He didn't really factor in those three mines. Doing a little bit of harassment, he did kill one overlord that actually messes up everything right now, what Exo Ender is doing right now, I think. Yes, definitely. And uh, to, uh, I think to note here is that our Terran player is a very, very good macro player. Just look at how low that mineral and uh, gas intake of this. Uh, he is really, really keeping on par of his SP SCV production. He's just behind by three, uh, two harvesters now. But do keep in mind that he has mules. Oh yeah, mules are really, really good. Here we go. The timing push that I was talking about a while ago. The bailings are almost done, right? Or the bailing is just started right now. Wow, oh, this is gonna be huge right here, Ender. You're gonna be you're gonna be ended with the same play that he did a while ago. This is gonna be huge. This I don't know. This is a very scary push for Ender to deal with. He he doesn't have a good creep spread because the uh, a good creep spread is actually the counter to tank marine. But look at here, the siege tanks are going to be sieging up Wawa and I don't know what Ender's going to do here. Yeah, this is going to be pretty hard. He's going to be able to snap off the spine crawler really, really quick. He needs he just needs to move that away. I don't know what he's able to do right now. He can make a hundred roaches, but I don't know what's, if, if it's going to help. Oh man, he just let the spine crawler die right there. Wow. This is gonna be pretty intense right here. Let me check at the food wise. 80 over 89. And there is in the lead, but up to how long? Oh, man. All those sea shakes oh, are she shot. Bainings are gonna come in. Gonna try to kill off. Oh, oh. money bainings right there. Nice, nice way. Killing off all of those tanks right now. He needs to kill off all these tanks, and he's gonna be pretty good. He just needs to wait for a couple of Zergnes right now. And yes, the Zergnes are out right now. And nice, nice defense right here by Ender. Good hold. Well good bains. Yeah, right. Well done by Ender, and Ender is now gonna be gearing up for a counter attack. No siege tanks out in the field right now. Ender has a lot of zerglings and a lot of roaches coming into the Terran base. I don't know if the Terran is gonna be ready for this, man. Yeah, this is gonna be a huge counter push right here. He's gonna try to kill off as much Marines as possible right now. There's no tanks around, and finally, all oh, those Marines are just compiled up right now. And just need to wait for those roaches to come in. And here we go, the roaches are in play right oh, now. Go. How good is this? He needs to kill off the tank as fast as possible. Is he gonna be able to do it? No, it's not gonna be happening. He is killing a lot of the SEVs though. That is a big factor indeed. More Zergins are coming in here, but they're attacking the command center for I don't know why. He needs to snipe up the tank really, really quick right now. And oh man, he's gonna be. Is he gonna be able to snipe it off? No, the tank has 23 HP remaining. It's still alive and kicking. He is gonna siege mode that in just one second and it's pretty much well defended. Look at that, the tank is just gonna completely defend this. <laughs> oh, the Terran is gonna stabilize for a, uh, for a while here. Yeah. But uh, I don't think Ender was going for an end uh, for a game ending attack there. But he did do the damage and he is up now by around... Uh, well, he is up by 12 harvesters. Man, Ender is really in a roll here. And here we go, we're going to see a drop on the way right now for Deep Blue, so he's going to try to do as much harassment as he can. But then again, Ender has a vision uh, has vision of a lot of area right here, and he knows what's happening right there in or wh where that where this uh, medevac is going right now. So this is going to be pretty huge. And he did see that a little bit, but then again, is he going to be able to react to it? Yes, indeed. He's sending all of those Zerglings to the other side, and he's going to be pretty much able to kill that. And here we go, stemming in are those Marines right now, and the Zerglings are out right here, going to try to kill off as much marines as they can here we go the roaches are going to be pretty much cleaning this up no problem at all good game right good game good play right there <laughs> good game already what no not not yeah man <laughs> too no. excited and they're here man I, I was really writing him off around 10 minutes ago but now he is in the game he is controlling the game mulelists are out for him he has good upgrades for his mulelists and uh his uh roaches are with speed right now man and just really looks good yeah, he's pretty handsome. <laughs> and, <laughs> no, indeed, here we go. The Mutas are going to try to come up here. Going to try to do a little bit of harassment right there. 
And all those SCVs are gonna move in actually. <laughs> I don't know for why. But no, the Marines are finally coming in here. Gonna distract those Mutos as those Marines take it. Oh no, a little bit of misclick right there by Exo. And they're uh, losing like I think three Mutos lo was lost there with that little bit of engagement. But yeah, good defense actually there for Mr. Deep Blue. Those Mutos barely did anything at all. So he really was expecting those Mutos to come out. Yeah, definitely. Now, Ender is kind of supply block right now, but once those five overlords are done, I believe he'll be making more Mutalist to further his uh, map advantage, map control advantage. That's gonna be very hard for the Terran to deal with, but oh, those Mutalists! Oh, what is oh. down, man? What is down? Wow. Deep Blue is just everywhere right now. He knows what's happening. He knows where all those Mutalists are going on right now. I'm not sure, but then again, here we go. Zerglings are gonna come in from the other side. Gonna try to go for a flank right here, or from uh, trying to go for a sneak attack. But again, there's a siege tank siege up right there, so that's gonna be pretty much a de well defended base because there is one siege tank there. <laughs> that's a pretty much. <laughs> here we go. Yeah. Zerglings are gonna come in, but no, they're just gonna move out as long uh, as soon as they saw the siege tank. The siege. Oh man, he lost all those siege tanks. Ouch. Those are I mean, all those zerglings. Excuse me. That's that hurts. Now Ender, Ender knows that this uh, third by the Terran is gonna be pretty much invincible for the meantime. He has to take, uh, he has to bring down a fourth. Uh, but no, he opts to harass with this Mutalist. So let's see what he can do here. Yeah, he's gonna try to take down the missile turret. The missile turret goes down. Gonna check down a cup. Uh, try to take down a couple more uh, supply depot. But here we go. The stimmed up Marines are trying to run away, uh, uh, trying to <laughs> run as fast as possible to defend. And yes, they're gonna fend away those Mutalisk. No problem at all. Bainings are muffing yeah. in right now as well. Food wise, 136 over 122. Deploy is actually really, really close behind right now. Not really far away. And oh no, mm -hmm. and their supply block right now. Not really making any oh, overlords. Man. I'm not sure if he's aware of that, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna be like, oh man, I can't, I can't make anything. And here we go. Finally, Mido is gonna harass from the front right now. But there are four <laughs> missile turrets here. So this pretty much is pretty good. A pretty good defense right there. Just killing off one of those missile turrets or a couple of those missile turrets, but then again, that's still money well spent, I guess. Still, though, this army of deep blue is just getting bigger and bigger, and once it gets to a good amount of siege tank, that's gonna be really, really hard to defend against, especially if you're a Zerg right now. So, how many siege tanks do we have? We have seven siege tanks right here in play right now. Cool. Oh man, oh, look at those bending landmines right there. I wanna see, I wanna see, I wanna see a bending explosion. Oh, he oh, sees no. that! Oh. What? How did you know there was units there? Oh uh, man. Suspicion. That was like a really, no, no man, I'm not gonna call in suspicion. That's a really good, uh, good intuition on the part of the Terran, but. Zerg here, uh, Ender is making it a lot of bailings. Will he be able to survive this Terran push? Yeah, that is the question indeed. Does he have enough bailings? He has. Let me see the food wise 12 bailings only here. 17 bailings now, 39 zerglings as well. So is it gonna be enough though? That is the question indeed. Oh, right now, Exo Ender is just destroying the backup right there. Coming in for oh, Deep Blow. Oh, gonna try to snap off Benavax. Oh, nice, nice play right here. So really, really he's just killing off a lot of building units right now. Here we go. Marines are gonna come in, but then again, is he gonna commit? No, Deep Blue is just gonna run away right now. All those Marines are doing are taking a lot of damage as well here. And look at that Deep Blue or Exo and there's just allowing those Mutas to do extra damage here. And here we go. All oh, gonna try to kill, kill a lot of Marines there, but no, it's not gonna happen. Wow, this is really, really tricky right now. Exo and there is in a really, really shaky state right now. Here we go. The Bainists are gonna come in. Zerglings are coming in here first. Where are those Marines? He doesn't have oh. any vision of the Marines. Finally, the Bainists are gonna be in. Oh, nice, nice play. But then again, there's too many tanks here. There's a lot of tanks, but then again, there's barely any anti air right now for Mr. Deep Blue. Can he, is he able, gonna be able to destroy all this Mutalist army? He might do so. There's a lot of Marines streaming in right now, but then again, he's gonna get completely repaired. Uh, Deep Blue is gonna lose all this medevacs right now. Oh, and that is gonna be and, huge. Uh, and this is playing really, really brilliantly right and now. GG and GG for Deep Blue oh. and Pause. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what the Pause is. It's a Korean. No. It's a Korean thing. <laughs>